this was actually an incredibly simple and easy process to, to cast this show. Hey, Mark. We had everybody that we wanted to go after actually came in to, to read, and so uh, it actually fell into, into place. Now, there were a few times when the casting changed pretty drastically by just who walked in the door. Teleportation, levitation, tissue regeneration. Is this outside the realm of possibility? I'm thinking specifically about Sendhil Ramamurthy, who, as written, that character was supposed to be a 55-year-old middle-aged professor. Hey, Mark. Okay. And the casting director said, we've got this young guy who's in from London, just here for a week, and you should take a look at him. What have I been trying to prove? I've used these theories, the map, this silo, all of it, just to validate a relationship that ended a long time ago. I immediately realized I would have to rethink the entire character based on this actor. It's a really pleasant surprise when it works that way. We're going to show you no one else will ever see again. There is a 72-minute version of our pilot. Down here at Comic-Con, we have an opportunity for the fans and for people who've never seen the show before to see something that's pretty incredible. Well, this is the fan base. This is the one that keeps the show really on the air. And, you know, they're the ones that tell their friends and go online and chat rooms, and they create a kind of buzz and sort of viral quality to promotion of the show that you can't buy any, uh, any other way. For me, just to be down here and that they invited our show down here is such a compliment. I mean, we haven't even been on the air yet and people are interested in it, so I'm just really excited about that. Are you actually fluent in Japanese or do you just speak it for the show? <laughs> and that's how the season ends. <laughs> It is insane. It is fantastic. There's so much energy, so much passion. I, so many people. It's, it's a mind-boggling event. These fans are, are going to be the most passionate about our show. And they're going to spread the word out. They're going to tell everybody in the world. You know, yes, it's a great drama. This, this is something that is going to take people on a ride. And I think it's a ride that they're going to enjoy. Save the world. I have to say, it, it is more than I expected it to be. When you start something this big, you hope that you don't screw it up along the way. And truly, I think we somehow figured out how to get consistency very early on in, in the show. I don't think you can expect anything to be this amazing. I mean, I feel like you look at most shows, ours looks like it's been on for years. Is that why you came for me? Is that why you asked me if I was the one? No, I just, I, I knew I had to save you. Why? Save the world. It's for it to become like this kind of global phenomenon where people are recognizing us in whatever country we're in. Like, not just in the U.S. is, is just crazy in the way that the audience has embraced it. On the other shows that I was on, it was, you know, hey, I really love your work, can I get a picture or whatever? And now it's like, oh my god, this is, oh my god! Like, everybody's drawing their nails. Everybody's drawing their nails when they see me. It's, it's awesome. I think it is just a true testament to Tim Crane about the material that he writes, the people that he hired, the cast that came together, and it's just kind of a special thing we have happening, and it's just exciting. We are on a sort of freight train right now of, of storytelling. Our characters will continue to cross paths and join forces, and, and twists and turns will continue.